Imagine that you enter a room and see your exact replica in front of you, only it does not breathe because it is made of metal and silicone. This is not science fiction. In China, they already make robots that copy people down to the pattern of veins and goosebumps on the skin. See how the world's most realistic humanoid robots are created and what they can do in this issue. The world of the Wild West, where robots are indistinguishable from humans, has been realized in the Chinese city of Dalian, Leon in province. The ex-museum of science and technology of the future has recently opened here, with all the exhibits created by ex-robots. It is not just a museum, there is a research and development department and a bionic robots assembly line, on which a realistic and incredibly accurate copy of any visitor of the museum can be made. How long have you been developing humanoid robots? X Robots focus on the research and development of humanoid robots in Dalian, Liaoling province of China. Our company was established in 2009. In 2016, we started to research humanoid robots. Last year, we opened the first robot museum in China. Where our team has 115 people in total. Among them, about 30 people are developers and producers. X Robot specializes in the research and development, manufacturing, sales, and service of intelligent bionic humanoid robots. The company's portfolio includes celebrity robots, robot promoters with cute, almost cartoonish looks, and pilot dancing robots to attract customers to bars and clubs. The latter, by the way, is a novelty that should be available soon. What applications do you see for your robots? Our robots have played a role in many service industries, like new retail exhibition, science explanation and so on, but more is to business. In the future, we want to go to customers, especially in the field of children education and elderly care. Every robot is unique and designed to be as realistic as possible. To get your robot replica, you have to be scanned with a high-precision 3D scanner. At the same time, it is enough to scan the user's head and arms, because so far the robots have a general universal body, differing only by gender. Genoids, or female robots, are thinner and more elegant. But on the arms, face and other exposed parts of the body, such as the legs of the robots and the cryo chambers on display in the museum, the detailing reaches a fantastic level. The pattern of veins, the lines on the palms of the hands, the goosebumps on the skin, all are reproduced from medical silicone on a 3D printer with frightening realism. The creators are working to make touching the robots feel like touching a human. How long does it take to create a humanoid robot that copies humans? Well, it needs three to six months. There are many procedures we need to do. The first one is to collect a human voice. And we need to do 3D printing and scanning. And making mechanical equipment. And doing bionic coating. And the last procedure is to use control system to edit the action expression. What is the hardest part of building a humanoid robot? Well, it's definitely mechanical structure. Compared to many industrial robots on the market, our medical equipment is very small, especially female robots. After getting the body shape data, we need to design the internal structure according to the shape. How to put dozens of small equipment in a narrow space is very difficult. And it is also necessary to ensure the movable is as natural and as smooth as human beings. Robots can be controlled. Users can use face tracking apps to control the robot's facial expressions or gloves to gesture with their hands. The museum relies on an immersive experience for visitors, awakening their interest in science, robotics and artificial intelligence, as well as demonstrating possible scenarios for robots from the world of the future. What did you have to invent from scratch to create these robots? We independently develop humanoid control system which is used to edit the action expression of the robot, controlling the whole body about 68 movable joints. The second one is a super simulated skin, the medical degrade scenic gear, where the usual effect or touching feelings is the most realistic to human skin. 
It's difficult for robots to simulate human posture working perfectly, but it's our goal in the future, and we will also keep hard working to achieve it. So what else do robots look like humans besides their appearance? It's not just appearance, he also has video tricking, which means that even more than one people stand in front of him, he will stare at the object. He has joys and sorrows, and he can spit out a tongue and roll eyes. We plan to establish two robots museums in China this year, and the next five years we are going to establish more robot museums. Also, we will keep researching robots that look more like human beings. What place will humanoid robots have in the future? There is no doubt that man-machine coexistence is a future that we need to face. Robots can solve problems like human beings, and all walks of life in the world will increasingly rely on automation and robots, just like mobile phones. I think robots will be popular one day. What breakthroughs in robotics do you expect to see in the near future? Well, we will open the hardware platform to make our robots more intelligent, and we want more people and business to join us, making robots integrate into human life earlier. Do you plan to open similar museums abroad? The purpose of our company is always enrich everyone's life, so that we build the robot museum and let everyone have a chance to close to human robots. It's definitely we will happy to open the museums overseas, but it needs chance. And which country work on us? Thanks to X Robots and Coco for contributing to this issue. Would you like to visit such a museum and make your own robot replica? Subscribe to the channel, like the videos, and don't miss the new releases from the world of high technology.